Don't you hate it? You've already gotten to your destination. You're taxiing in. You're almost at your gate. You're gathering your stuff up. You think, oh, in a few minutes, I'm going to be off this airplane. And the airplane stops about 100 feet short of the gate. And the pilot comes on and says, ladies and gentlemen, we had to stop short of the gate. We can't quite park yet. Don't get up out of your seat. Wait for that seatbelt sign. And you're like, oh, no, I'm going to be late for my flight. What's going on? Well, here's what's going on. There are two ways to park an airplane at most modern airports. Number one is what's called a, a guidance system that actually is a, a computerized deal that scans the airplane as I'm pulling into the gate. I've got to get lined up on the center line. It looks at me and makes sure that everything is clear on the left side and the right side of the airplane. And once it does, it starts to give me a countdown and it tells me whether I'm left or right of the center line. I adjust for that and I come in 40 feet, 30 feet, 20 feet, 10, five, and finally it says stop. All right, and I set the parking brake. And if it's working, it works out great. The next thing is the jet bridge has got to come over and we get off the airplane. But if that system, for some reason, isn't working, and remember, it's a computerized system, it's got to scan a lot of things. And if 100% of everything is not okay, it just stops and says, wait. And so sometimes it malfunctions or it says, wait. And then I got to wait for a crew to come out. And that means three human beings. And those three human beings have to realize the problem. Usually I get on the radio and say there's a problem. Then they have to get those orange wands. They have to have one in each hand. And so at night, the wands have to light up as well. And if they don't light up, that's a problem too. So I've got one person that's qualified to park me and they're doing the wand thing on the way in. I got two wing walkers. Once everybody's in place, I can continue to go and I follow the manual commands until I get both of those things in an X like this, all right? And then I stop my airplane, set my parking brake. The next hassle is getting the jet bridge over to the airplane. We'll talk about that on another video. Now you know, I'm Captain Steve. Fly safe. Wait, don't go yet. Do me a favor, become Captain Steve's new best friend. Hit the like button, uh, share, and subscribe.